So this trail is pretty cool, pretty flat, but it's also really freaking hot. <laughs> So we're at the uh, cactus uh, gardens. I guess there's uh, the only spot you can actually walk amongst the cactuses around here. There's also bees ahead. Bees? Watch out for bees. So we're over here at the Cactus Gardens. Yes, we um, are. This is the Cactus Gardens of where? Where are we again? Chala. Chala. Is it the Chala? Chola. In, in Joshua Tree. However, it's the Chala Cactus Gardens. Chala Cactus Gardens. I really Gardens. just want to say Hala Hala Hala. Cho, cho, hala, hala, hala. Choya. Yeah. Choya. Perhaps. Choya. Choya. Perhaps. I know. It's beautiful out there. However, this place has the same problem that so many of the places have had, which is that they do not want us to bring our puppy. No, nope, this place, just no like all the place, is all puppy free. So, I'm just going to take the puppy back. I'm tired. I'm going to go back in. No. No. There we go. I really like personally how Joshua trees is true of this as well but these cactuses you can tell that they grow on top of the old kind of dead withered parts of themselves like they're constantly renewing themselves so you'll see that the light the lighter color is at the top and the darker kind of weathered part is at the bottom and somehow that applies to life I'm not sure how yet but I will figure that out in much more I am the darker weathered part in this relationship. <laughs> I, did not, I did not try to insinuate that. Watch out for whatever that is. 15. This is cool.
So this trail is pretty cool, pretty flat, but it's also really freaking hot. I mean, it could actually be worse. It could be way worse. There's a nice breeze, but I'm also uh, worried that that breeze is gonna pick up one of these cactuses and make it jump out at me. Hey, cactus. This is so much cooler than one would assume walking through cactuses would be. Yeah. Imagine crossing, crossing through all this before the path was made. Oh, dude. <laughs> yes, I sure can. You ready? Let's head out of here. What's that? We need to head out of here. Finish our trip with Joshua Tree with a sticker, hopefully. Yeah, we gotta go to get us a sticker. And then uh, go to the RV and chill and make dinner. Yeah, dinner. Down yeah, with that. but it doesn't count elevation. I know. Rude. Or yoga. Or it yoga. doesn't count yoga. It doesn't count anything but the steps. You know, there's more than exercise than just stepping watch. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. did Joshua Tree and it was pretty freaking amazing. It was more than amazing. It was m different than what I expected, but it was super, it was super interesting. It made me want to be like, oh, It made me want to give some notes. So first off, uh, Joshua Tree, you really need to work on the temperature. Perhaps pretty get hot. A, get a lake out there or something. I would like a lake. Yeah. Like if you could just, or maybe a swimming pool, some, some, it's near Palm Springs. Can we just kind of like, yeah. Tube that up in there. Also, the divisiveness of the two deserts, like keeping them separate and not allowing the Joshua okay, trees to they be. They did not do that. That's incorrect, and we'll discuss that later. Oh, okay. okay. The, the high desert versus the low desert sounds very caste system to me. <laughs> All right, so here's what we did we ended up camping on, I guess it was BLM land. We called it BML land for reasons we will talk about in just one moment. So we camped there. It was an amazing spot. It was the best price, AKA yeah. free. It was free. Uh, and the first day that we were there, we took Luna to one of the libraries. She's on first, a tour of libraries at this point. First we took her over to the uh, uh, Coachella library, but it was closed. It was closed. It looked like it would have been really pretty, but it was closed. And then we took her to the Indio library. Yeah, the Indio library was nice. I am lying. I actually didn't go inside the Indio library. Oh, but Luna got some pictures. Yeah, she got some pictures. It seemed like it was pretty good. This Then, while she was there, we got to skate out to the actual Joshua Tree Park to find a Joshua Tree. Well, okay, so it's weird because it says Joshua Tree National Park, and then nothing happens. And it says you're going to have to pay, but, like, nothing is happening. In fact, there's a trail that begins there, uh, and but nothing is, like... It's a handicap accessible trail too. It is, is an cool. amazing trail. This whole really park short. is tells fairly, you a lot about plants. The whole park is fairly flat. I mean, if you're driving there and jumping out at the different little walkways and stuff, most of it's handicap accessible. Yeah, which I actually thought was really cool. And and uh, it was kind of like, and we'll get into this I'm sure later as well, but it was kind of like being on a safari where you drove to most of the things you're gonna see. Perhaps you got out, looked at it for a second, but you kept driving and your surroundings were fabulous. Although I did want to see more uh, of the uh, fauna, not just the flora. I would have really loved to see, it sure. like a snake, a rattlesnake or something. I did not want to see a rattlesnake. Oh, come on. Let's... I did not want to see a rattlesnake. I, I did not want to see anything that was going to bite me. Mm -hmm. Or my dog. Or my dog. I love you. That actually includes cactuses, but we'll get yeah. to that later. So while we were there, we uh, ran up uh, to see, to go buy a park pass, which we got. Yay. Our first national park pass. Yeah. It feels like uh, 
what is what is it called? Like uh, getting a driver's license. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A a a role. What is the word I'm looking for? I have no idea. Yeah, you do. It's like a rite of passage. It's like a rite of passage for RVs mm -hmm. that you get this national park pass. So we got it. Yeah. Um, and then we turned around because yeah. Well, first off, I tried to prove her. to Cat that there's the uh, uh, Joshua Tree's cousin, Josh the tree there were no joshua trees all the way up to even when we uh much farther actually than, than where you get center. the pass yeah there's none and you're that you're there at the, joshua tree assuming that you're going to see a joshua tree and instead you see a wash a mi well i do like the washes but the yeah. mini be the mini me joshua trees the josh which are really just palms the and josh he trees. was Real sure those were Joshua trees. I, uh, yeah, well, you know, they, they're Josh trees. Very close. You know, it's like, you know, mistaking me for my brother or something. You know, it's very, very <laughs> close. Close. Cousin. Yeah. Right. They, I mean, they're kissing cousins. I mean, they could still marry if they wanted to in most states, I'm sure. So we, the next day, got up what we thought was going to be early, but mm -hmm. knowing us, that's, we left at like 1030. Yeah. Uh, and it was super hot, so we knew that that was actually a bad idea in regards to having to get off the car and go on hikes and what have you. But that's how our family rolls. Mm -hmm. I don't know how anybody else's family like gets up and everyone gets out of the house by like 7. That's impossible in our family. Yeah, Lumpy always drags us back. He always wants to stay in bed. Look at him. Well, I'll just say this one thing. My husband was determined to get to Skull Rock. Yes. Determined. Yeah. And, and I was like, go right. He's like... It's one of the coolest things out there, hands down. It's fantastic. I it was, highly recommend it. I was proven wrong once again. I didn't, well, actually, I didn't really care that much. No, Skull Rock. I allowed it to happen. What? Going to Skull Rock and not awesome. turning another way. But uh, Skull Rock was amazing. He bounced around like he was a child, like yes. he had no previous injuries, which yeah. is a lie. Um, and I had to use my back shocker in order to, you know, Electrocute the pain away all night long, but Literally. it was worth it. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. And then on our way back was the Choya. Oh yeah, the Choya uh, Garden. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, I did pronounce it right earlier. You thought it was I wasn't saying it right, but we don't need to talk about that I right did. now. So the Choya Garden Garden is a cactus garden, and it's a pretty small trail around mm -hmm. them but we were there at the perfect time where the sunlight was like just gleaming in on it yeah um, it was golden hour for sure we left lucifer in the car with luna who was just they are jumping it. cactuses and they can uh, jump out at you and they especially like to jump out at dogs which has proven true in arizona mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so yeah um it was amazing so it was just chris and i we went around and i have decided that all the plants have personalities and uh, how they have grown is kind of like a part of that emotion that I see so some yeah. of them are humble some of them are uh, angry some of them are a little slow yeah. honestly like not all there here in know? Arizona we even found a, a confused cactus confused it was <laughs> scarecrow Whoops. yeah so that was definitely a highlight for me was the Choya cactus gardens yeah, uh, a highlight for me was actually uh, interacting with the uh, Polish guests on our way back. Uh, as soon as we got back to our, our, our in the middle of nowhere campsite, you know, there's, there's nobody around so we can run our generator, no problem to cool down the place in the evenings. Uh, no guilt with the generator. No guilt, yeah. No, somebody shows up. And then another person, another person. But the first person who showed up, who comes right in this red us. convertible, is this Polish dude who uh, is, uh, you know, just got back from Hawaii, has spent the last uh, four months in America touring around. And has he been was, to more places than we have in the States. Clearly. Oh, yeah, no, he's definitely, he was, he was having a great time. And he just was like, I'm going to rent a car uh, convertible and go see Joshua Tree. Because Joshua Tree is fairly new. Apparently, Joshua Tree got founded in 1994. Yeah, 1994. I yeah. I mean, I was alive then. I was, I almost yeah. had a kid then. I was a teenager at Yeah, that point. apparently they named the park after the U2 album. Or yeah, is it, who no, knew? Or was it Pearl Jam? 
Those you too, for sure. <laughs> I'm just joking. I know. Uh, but so, uh, yeah. The so Polish pretty... guy was funny, though, because he was, I was like, where are you from? He said, Poland. I yeah. said, that's cool. He's like, what's cool about it? Yeah. Like, he seemed offended by that. Yeah, no, uh, I said it was actually cold. Uh, that's cold. And then he said that was inaccurate Yeah, as well. he said Poland is actually not that cold. Yeah. But he didn't have any funny Polish people jokes, which, you know. Shh. What? It's, it's not again. Shh. It's natural. What do I keep it's telling you? Racist. Still, it's still inappropriate. That guy loved Trump. It's inappropriate. <laughs> <sighs> he did like Trump. What yeah. was that about? That was very know, strange. Sorry. How the foreigners like Trump? They just don't. They're used to strong men. They're used yes. to strong men, nationalist kind of candidates, candidates, and people like nationalism these days. Oh, yeah. Anyway, there was something else. Oh yes. All right. So let's talk about our campsite. It was perfect. Yes. Ninety-five percent of, of of the way. Okay. So it was perfect because it was out in the middle of nowhere. The view was beyond beyond. Like I did yoga with that as my view as I'm doing like tree pose, which was fabulous. Um, and we got to explore the area because there was a lot of the same kind of flora that, and fauna that you would find inside Joshua Park. It was just right there. Yeah. However. We, we were walking around and we found this like, you know, there's this like retaining wall kind of like natural uh, wall kind of built up there. Of sand. And then we dirt. found this like gash in it. And we're like, ooh, that looks cool. Let's go explore it. And yeah. we walk over and it goes to the other side of the wall. Like I almost don't want to talk about this. And then we find trees. Oh completely uh, littered with toilet paper all over the bottom of them. And you can imagine why toilet paper would be there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was It was just it yeah. was so gross. The amount of toilet paper in that area and the surrounding, like everyone apparently just went over this hill to, to do their business. Yeah. Uh, without doing what one should do. So instead, yeah, they just, uh, they just, instead of burying it in Bury uh, it. underground. They, <laughs> they they just poop everywhere and let it all wild. And so that's why we call it BLM instead of yeah. B, uh, or sorry, BML instead of BLM because it's the bowel movement land. Yeah, it's BAML land, not BLM land, bowel movement land. La, 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 la. So gross, la, la, la. so gross. Yeah, people clean up after yourselves. After, so this is a PSA. Yeah. There's a lot of acronyms here. This is a PSA. Bury your poop, clean yes, up after yourself. After yourself. And this is gorgeous like land that has been that we're allowed to be on. Let's not litter it with feces. I mean, why do I have to tell you this? Oh, so gross, so gross. We have to go to our garbage before we go back. Oh, way back Hello. Here. Okay. And Luna's back. And I'm back. Um, what were we talking about? Joshua Tree. So tell us what you thought about Joshua Tree. Uh, I thought it was gorgeous, and I think the rocks were my favorite part because um, I like climbing on rocks. Mm -hmm. I, don't know. I just really like it. Um, and there were so many like pretty arrangements of rocks, and they seemed so natural and just like interesting to look at, which is you know fun. You like the off-roading part? That was fun. Oh, that was so much fun, though. Yeah, we didn't talk about that. <laughs> it was a, I thought the camera vibration. was going to pick it up more when we were recording. Oh, yeah? But it was just like, it just sounded like a little bit of sh like shaking of my change. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was really cool. Uh, however, I'm very heat sensitive. Mm. I'm a white <laughs> So, girl. yeah, I'm like glowing. Um, so, heat affects me a little bit more than normal people. Uh, uh, or I'm just a wimp. I mean that too. Yep. But uh, it was lots of fun. I enjoyed mm -hmm. it. Good. Yeah. All right. Well, we found some cool spots. You want to go check out more spots? Yeah, I'm down. Awesome. Let's go. Hold on. Give me in the front seat. Me. 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 <laughs> me. Front seat. <laughs>